hello friends so i hope you are, i hope you are doing well so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to set up wazoo open source security platform virtual machine on your local system so for uh, first of all let's get started with what wazoo is like wazoo is an open source same solution that is built upon uh, osec and osec is quite uh, quite outdated right now because the community has uh, has not been uh, actively working on that project so wazoo adopted the osec project and then added their own additions uh, onto the osec rule set and created a complete solution which covers intrusion detection log data analysis and file integrity monitoring vulnerability de detection configuration assessments like pci dss and <coughs> other configuration assessments that are uh, related to compliances and then there is incident response regulatory compliance and cloud security like you can monitor your cloud instances like uh, aws and other cloud infrastructure and you can also uh, manage your containers like docker containers you can also get an in insight of uh, what is going on in all the containers that you are running on the system and it is a pretty neat solution uh, so in the in upcoming videos i will be talking more about uh, this so first of all let's get started in setting the virtual machine on your local system so uh, so to download the virtual machine what you need to do is go to documentation and in documentation in the installation guide there will be an option of virtual machine click on that and you will be on this page so here it tells uh, tells you that the virtual machine is in the ova image format and you need to import that into the virtual box or either in uh, VMware Fusion uh, as I am on Mac so if you are on Windows you can uh, either use VirtualBox or uh, VM VMware Workstation so here are, here is the configuration of the Wazoo VM like it is running CentOS uh, Wazoo 3.1.12.0 and the version of API version of Elasticsearch Kibana and Filebeat so here is a, uh, here are some other information like the uh, login information for Wazoo machine, the CentOS machine. Like the uh, username is root and the password is Wazoo. And here is the password and username for the API for Wazoo Foo, Foo bar. And you can also change that uh, configuration, uh, change the password also in the configurations so let's get started so you need to click on this button over here to down uh, to begin the download and it will download the ova file over here i have already downloaded the file so i'm not going to download it again i'm just going to import uh, this ova file into my uh, vmware fusion so just open VMware. And click on new and click on import. And over here you need to select the OVA file. So what you need to do is click on choose and it will obviously in, in the download folder. Select the file and click on open and it will open over here. Then you need to continue and it will ask you where to uh, set up the machine so i am going to be setting it up in the virtual machine folder in my uh, home directory so click on save and it will start importing i have already imported the machine so i am going to cancel this uh, process and you can see over here that i have already i already have a virtual machine of wazoo so what you need to do in order to start is uh, double click on the virtual machine and it will automatically boot up
so to log in just enter root and password is wazoo to access the kibana interface what you need to do is you need to find out the ip of this box so you can access it over the browser so to get the ip just enter ip address and it will show the ip address of the box over here as you can see the ip address is 172 20 10 and 3 172 20 10 3 20 10 3 and it is over https You, uh, as it is a self-signed certificate so you need to uh, proceed to the website after clicking advance so but in the new version of chrome it does not allow you to do that so just we are going to open it in the safari so it is a bit easier so just click on show details and just visit this website enter your password and it is now going to load the kibana interface as you can uh, as you can see over here and here is the wazoo uh, app icon so you can see that uh, wazoo is up and running and in the next video we are going to be talking about the overall interface of wazoo like what we get and what we can do with this and after that we will be taking a look and how to add agents and configure uh, configure few things on the manager so things run smoothly and how to configure all the security setting that we need in order to proceed in order to run it is run the wazoo as a complete same solution so I will see you in the next video if you do if you like the video do share like and comment and if you haven't subscribed already do subscribe to our channel for uh, latest videos thanks and have a nice day